I gotta say, it was uh, last summer and we played the Beastival uh, in Germany. It was our first German gig, uh, and uh, well, we played the show on one day, and then well, naturally we got a bit wasted after the show. And uh, the next morning we woke up like pretty early, about 8 a.m. or something. Then there was this gas station uh, located right in front of our hotel room, so we went outside, and then this two fans that later became our good friends actually they just saw us they screamed for some time then they ran into that gas station got us a few beers and we drank them right away when they brought them to us that was pretty cool cheers to them <laughs> yeah i also those japanese fans were pretty amazing they had like finnish flags on the audience and stuff that was pretty awesome Of course, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, we're always available after the shows. We actually really like going into the crowd and talking to the people. It's always really nice to meet different people and stuff like that. <laughs> there haven't been too there much. I, I think <laughs> yeah, you'd think that like four hippies from Finland would actually. <laughs> Maybe have some kind of fangirl base or something, but I haven't stumbled upon any of those yet. It's mostly the sweaty guys in the audience that really get us going. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're still looking forward to the chicks, maybe sometime. Yeah. Maybe sometime. <laughs> It's Japan, or well, we haven't been like around in so many countries yet, so it's hard to say. But I mean, from the places we've been to now, I'd have to say it's either Japan or Germany, because of course for Germany it's like mostly this kind of music, so the people take it in really easily, and like especially compared to Finland, the people just start going crazy right when we start. Finland maybe they're hesitating a bit, but that's cool. <laughs> Oh man, that's hard. We we prefer in Finland, of course, because we're not like the richest people in the world, so we prefer the pretty cheap beers. There's this one that we always pretty much drink called Kof. That's pretty good. I think Karhu beer is the best. It's like from Finland. What like was that? What was that one beer called in Japan? It was amazing. That uh, uh, what was it? Asaki. 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 Asahi. Asahi. Yeah, that was, yeah. Asahi. That was yeah. really good. Yeah, I like German beer a lot. <laughs> mm. I, I have one one favorite German beer, but I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> say Dry. its name, and it's too hard to. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Skerlenka or something. It's like dark beer or <laughs> something. It's it tastes really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd say pretty fast, depends on the day. If we're really thirsty, it goes down really fast. But it's not like, or because it's, it's one of those things that people think that if you're from Finland, you drink only booze and stuff. But I don't know, I prefer beer. Beer is pretty good, but of course the tighter stuff goes down sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Maybe some whiskey. <laughs> maybe some whiskey. Mirko's a real master with the whiskeys. Sarah! 